morning live on SABC2. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Now, uh, were you on Robben Island yesterday as well? No, unfortunately not. Um, I was in the Free State uh, in Butsabelo because we have, since the beginning of February, uh, as the APC had numerous uh, uh, seminars and rallies in various provinces to try yeah. and take the message of Sobuko beyond the narrow confines of, you know, uh, his band of followers uh, yeah. to the wider community. So yes, we're having our last uh, lecture in Butsabelo in the first Okay. State. Talk a little bit about Sobugwe's legacy though. I mean, is it sufficiently recognized in South Africa and beyond at this time? Yeah, well, I, I do think that, uh, you know, what Sobugwe stood for and uh, what he went through uh, are very important aspects of our history that do need to be told. Uh, as your insight indicated, um, Sobukwe went through a lot of uh, hardships in the course of the struggle, uh, which is quite outstanding. But secondly, he was also a man of ideas, ideas that uh, were not only correct then, but are still correct for today. And it's important that uh, as we, <clears throat> you know, as we remember, as we look back uh, to the history of our struggle, it's important that uh, signposts like Subukwe's life and his contribution, uh, you know, do need to be taken into account and do need to be explained, especially to the younger generation, so that as the years pass by, it must not be as if we got freedom um, without any sacrifice and the kind of people who made those sacrifices. Now, the PAC has split somewhat. How do you think that Sobukwe will have, would have dealt with that? I think for me, you know, uh, Sobuwe is a national leader who needs to be looked at beyond the narrow confines of, of party politics. Um, political parties are nothing but uh, vehicles through which we serve our people. Uh, that's why it, it was not impossible for Sobuwe himself to leave the ANC. The issue is not so much, uh, for me, the unity of, uh, of this or that political party, but it's the extent to which an organization remains relevant. Uh, to serving as a vehicle to realize the aspirations of our people. If it doesn't, uh, then it loses its, you know, its historical importance. So the importance of Sobukwe, beyond him being the founder leader of a party, is the extent to which he was able to talk to the nation, is the extent to which we as, as Africans, as South Africans, can look at him and say, what lessons do we draw from his life and his teachings that should guide and inform uh, you know our, you know our political work and how we run the affairs of the state, how we look at the future of our country, how we look at the future of our continent, yeah. and continue to look at him and say, well, here was a man who made his contribution. Let's learn from him. Mm. Let's also make our own contribution during our lifetimes. The the celebrations to mark uh, his memory and his life. Do you know how these are going to be undertaken over the next while? Well, um, I think. Uh, the, as, as things stand, uh, those who believe in you know his legacy and his ideals uh, have, in their own way, sought to to say, how do they make uh, his memory alive? And in the case of the APC, we have been to the northwest uh, in Klegstorp, we have been to Kamsengi in Guiani in Limpopo, we have been to Sibukeng in Gauteng, and uh, this weekend we're in the Free State as part and parcel of a process of taking Sobukwe into those deep rural areas to say Sobukwe uh, spoke not only for those who are in the urban areas, but he spoke for everyone in South Africa, for everyone in Africa. Yeah. And I must say that we're quite satisfied with the kind of response and uh, the way in which people were absorbing the message and, and, and you know, opening up uh, to this new window to which they had not been exposed to before. All right. Thank you very much, Temba Godi, joining us this morning from the APC, talking about the life and the legacy of Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe. Thank you very much.